Can we really transform America's homeless? We must ask ourselves a question, a simple question. Is it about losing a home? Or is it about losing a life? It's not just about economics. It goes much deeper than you can imagine. It's about a life gone wrong. It's when everything falls apart. Child abuse, fatherlessness, spousal abuse, violence, drug abuse, joblessness, war, cruel neighborhoods, prison abuse, poor education, alcohol, social programs, depression, desperation, crime, and it all gets lumped under poverty. It's an endless punishing cycle of poverty. You just can't imagine it. When our life hits rock bottom, we cry out, Oh God, I can't take it any longer. What do I do? This is why there are 300 gospel rescue missions. What can we do to rescue a life gone wrong? Well, first is protect them. Protect them from the attacks. Replace the attacks with love. Replace the meanness of the streets with mercy. Replace the broken home with a sense of community. More than just housing, we need a home, a place to be safe and protected and loved. And more than 45 minutes worth of therapy, we need a family that's there. We need to replace the addictions with commitments. <laughs> you know, a brother of mine once said that addictions have you doing things you never wanted to do and taking you to a place that you never wanted to be. Commitments, on the other hand, have us doing things that we didn't think we could do and taking us to a place that we never thought was imaginable. We need to replace the depression with gratefulness. We need to replace the hopelessness with faith. And more than an education, although an education is very important, GEDs and so on, we need a new set of values to build that education on. We need to replace the trash of violent TV with wisdom. And we need to replace entitlement with service. What's remarkable about the Gospel Rescue Mission is that the hard work that the men and women have to do in these places transform them into someone with need with someone that turns into someone that serves and this is a very profound difference so why a gospel rescue mission gospel rescue missions are filled with acceptance to be forgiven understanding mercy time to heal a second chance encouragement, community, a restoration of their faith to belong, to be healed, to have a family, new eyes to see and love. And all of this is 24 by 7. Now you may ask me why I developed this. You may ask, you know, does Jesus save still? Is it still true? Well, I'll tell you the truth. In 2003, I became homeless. And in the Bridgeport Rescue Mission, he saved my life.
My name is Richard Close. You see, we all need help from something bigger than all the problems that life throws us combine. This is why the Gospel and Rescue Mission still works. The American Dream contains the principle of a second chance to explore the transformation of lives inside the Gospel Rescue Mission. I developed this book for the Bridgeport Rescue Mission. All the profits go to them, and I encourage you to read it. Again, all the proceeds go to the mission. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at richardclose.com or purchase the book on amazon.com. All the money goes directly into their account. Or join us at InsideMissionsNing.com.